Welcome back to Stock Explorers. Today we're diving deep into Plug Power, a company that's making waves in the clean energy space. You know, um, they're at the forefront of this whole hydrogen economy thing, which has the potential to totally change how we power so many things, mm -hmm. like, you know, from warehouses to maybe even airplanes flying across the ocean. Yeah, it's pretty concerning stuff. What's really interesting about Plug Power is that they're not just making fuel cells, they're building a whole hydrogen ecosystem. So like green hydrogen production, fuel cell technology, the whole infrastructure to make it all work. They're like a one-stop shop for any company that wants to get rid of fossil fuels for good. So it's not just about the tech itself. It's about building the whole system to make it work in the real world. That's a pretty ambitious goal. Can you give us an example of what this looks like in action? Absolutely. So picture a huge Amazon warehouse, you know, those massive places with forklifts going nonstop. Well, instead of relying on batteries that need constant recharging, these forklifts could run on plug powers fuel cells. They refuel super fast, too, like in just a few minutes. That means less downtime and way more efficiency. Ah, so that's where the speed advantage of fuel cells comes in. It's like comparing filling up your gas tank to plugging in your electric car for hours. I can see why businesses would be interested. Exactly. And it's not just about speed. Think about a freezing cold winter day. Batteries like the ones in your phone, they lose power in the cold. But fuel cells, they keep going strong, even in freezing temperatures. That makes them super reliable for important stuff, especially in places with rough weather. Wow. I hadn't thought about that. So not only faster, but also more reliable. Plus, we can't forget about the environmental benefits. Hydrogen fuel cells produce zero emissions when they're running right. Just water and heat. That's a big deal for companies trying to be more eco-friendly. It totally is. And to get a better understanding of what Plug Power actually does, let's look at some of their main products. So they have GenDrive, which is their fuel cell system that's made for forklifts and other equipment that moves stuff around. Then there's GenSure. That one provides backup power. So think like telecommunications, towers, data centers, all those things that need to stay online even if the power goes out. And to make those quick refuels we talked about happen, they have GenFuel. That's their hydrogen infrastructure solution. So they have the fuel cells, the backup power, and the infrastructure to make it all work. It's like they're building the whole puzzle, not just a few pieces. But what about the customers? Are companies actually buying into this hydrogen idea? And this is where it gets really interesting. Plug Power has managed to attract some pretty big names. Like we mentioned, Amazon is already using their fuel cells in their warehouses, but so is Walmart. You know, these aren't companies that usually take big risks on unproven tech. That's a huge endorsement. If companies like Amazon and Walmart are putting their trust in Plug Power, that definitely means something. Are there any other partnerships that really stand out? Well, they're doing more than just material handling. Plug Power is actually working with Renault to develop hydrogen powered delivery vans for Europe. Imagine a whole fleet of zero emission delivery vans driving around cities like Paris or Berlin. That's the future they're aiming for. That's a great image. And it shows they're not just focused on one specific area, they're branching out. But this next one really blew my mind. They're even working with Airbus to see if they can use hydrogen for airplanes. Yeah, that's right. Airbus is like a giant in the aviation industry, yeah. and they're actively trying to figure out how to make air travel more sustainable. The fact that they're partnering with Plug Power is a huge sign that hydrogen could be a big part of how we fly in the future. Okay. The Airbus partnership is massive. I mean, everyone knows how hard it is to make airplanes more environmentally friendly. This suggests a real change is happening in the industry. But let's zoom out for a second and talk about the bigger picture. The green hydrogen revelation, as some people are calling it. What makes green hydrogen so groundbreaking? It all comes down to decarbonization. The world is in a rush to ditch fossil fuels, and green hydrogen is emerging as a big player. It's made using these things called electrolyzers, which are powered by renewable energy sources like wind and solar. So you're basically using clean energy to create a clean fuel. It's like a double whammy of clean energy. You're not just producing hydrogen without emissions, but you're using renewables to do it. That's got to have major implications for industries that are usually tough to make green, like heavy industry or transportation. Exactly. And that's where the whole electrolyzer market comes in. It's growing super fast. Mm -hmm. And Plug Power is in a great position to take advantage of that growth. They're ramping up their electrolyzer production in a big way. They're betting that this technology is going to be in huge demand as the world moves towards being more sustainable. So they're not just riding the wave. They're building the surfboard. But let's be honest, every company has its challenges. Plug Power has had its ups and downs, especially when you look at their financials. 
That's true. Their recent financial performance has been a bit of a roller coaster, to say the least. Yeah. They actually missed their revenue expectations for the last quarter of 2024, which scared some investors. Missing revenue targets is never a good sign. What happened there? Was it a sign that the market for hydrogen isn't growing as fast as they thought? Well, yeah, how fast the market is growing is definitely a factor. Yeah, exactly. But there's more to it than that. They also had a big loss in their gross margin. That means it cost them more to make their products than the money they brought in. Ouch, that doesn't sound good at all. What caused that squeeze on their margin? Was it anything specific? It was a few things, actually. They had to make some changes to their inventory, which can affect margins in the short term. And there were some charges related to warrants. You know those contracts that give customers the right to buy stock at a certain price? Those charges can be complicated, but basically they reflect how much those contracts are costing the company. So it sounds like a mix of strategic decisions and accounting stuff contributed to that margin hit. But I'm guessing investors are really hoping to see those margins improve. Oh, absolutely. And to understand how Plug Power plans to get back on track, we need to dive into their strategy for becoming profitable. Now, before we get too carried away with hydrogen-powered planes, we need to take a good look at Plug Power's finances. We talked about the revenue miss and those margin issues, but there are some other things that investors should be aware of, you know, especially those savvy stock explorers listeners. All right, let's get into the details. What are some of the financial risks that are making investors a bit nervous? Well, for one, their debt level is a big concern. Remember that $928.6 million in debt we mentioned, that's a lot of money for any company, especially one that's still trying to make a profit. Yeah, debt can be tricky. It can help a company grow but it can also be a problem if things don't go as planned. Exactly. And the interest payments on all that debt can really eat into their cash flow, leaving less money for things like research development or expansion. Plus, if they need to raise even more money in the future, and it looks like they might, it could get really expensive because lenders are going to see them as a bigger risk. So it's kind of a tough situation. They need money to grow, but the debt they already have makes it harder and more expensive to get more money. What about shareholder dilution? I know that's something people worry about with growth companies like Plug Power. You're right on the money. Shareholder dilution happens when a company issues new shares of stock, which increases the total number of shares out there. Imagine you're cutting a pie into more and more slices. Each slice gets smaller. Plug Power has been issuing a lot of new shares to raise money, and some investors are worried about that. Because their ownership stake is getting smaller. Exactly. Mm. If the company keeps issuing new shares, it can decrease the value of the shares that people already own. It's something investors need to think about carefully, especially if they're thinking about investing in plug power for the long term. So debt and shareholder dilution are two big concerns. Mm -hmm. Is plug power doing anything to address these issues, or are they just crossing their fingers and hoping for the best? Well, they're not just sitting around doing nothing. They've been trying to find different ways to raise money that don't involve issuing new shares. One thing they've been doing is taking advantage of this thing called tax credit transferability. Okay, I've heard about that, but I'm not exactly sure how it works. Can you remind me? Basically, the IRA, you know, the Inflation Reduction Act, it lets companies like Plug Power sell certain tax credits they earn to other companies. So instead of using those credits to reduce their own taxes, they can sell them for cash. Oh, so it's like turning those tax credits into actual money without having to create more shares. That's pretty smart. Exactly. Plug Power has already done some of these tax credit transfer deals and raised millions of dollars without diluting their shares. That's good to hear. But is it enough to completely eliminate the risk of dilution? Or is it more like a temporary solution? It's definitely a step in the right direction, but it's probably not going to completely eliminate the need to raise more money in other ways. Okay, so shareholder dilution is still a risk. At least they're trying to be creative about how they get funding. But let's be real here. The biggest risk, the one that looms over everything else, is the uncertainty around the whole hydrogen economy. It's the elephant in the room, isn't it? It definitely is. Plug Power is making a huge bet that the demand for green hydrogen is going to explode over the next few years. But what happens if that doesn't happen? What if people don't adopt hydrogen technology as quickly as they expect? Their whole business plan depends on this happening. It's like they're building a rocket to go to Mars, but they're not even sure if anyone will be there when they land. That's a great analogy. And there are so many things that could affect how fast people adopt hydrogen. Like the cost of making green hydrogen is a big hurdle. Right now, it's still way more expensive than using regular fossil fuels. But didn't we talk about how the cost of renewable energy is going down? Wouldn't that make green hydrogen more affordable? Yeah, that's true, and it's a good thing. 
But even with cheaper renewable energy, actually producing and delivering green hydrogen on a large scale is a huge challenge. So it's not just about making the hydrogen. It's about having the infrastructure to get it where it needs to go and use it efficiently. It's a whole system like we were talking about earlier. Exactly. And we can't forget about the competition either. Electric vehicles that use batteries are becoming super popular and battery technology is improving all the time. So it's not just a one horse race. Plug power is competing with other clean energy technologies, not just those big fossil fuel companies. That's right. And they need to convince people that hydrogen is the base solution, not just a passing fad. It's a big task for sure. But let's look at the other side for a minute. There are also some good reasons to be optimistic about hydrogen. <laughs> I mean, why else would companies like Amazon and Airbus be getting involved? You're absolutely right. And Plug Power is definitely focusing on those reasons for optimism when they're talking to investors. And there's some pretty compelling arguments to consider. OK, let's hear them. What are some of the things that could make this whole hydrogen economy really take off? Well, first of all, there's a growing agreement around the world that we need to get rid of carbon emissions from our energy systems. And while there are different ways to do that, hydrogen is starting to be seen as a crucial part of the solution. So the political winds are blowing in favor of clean energy and hydrogen is benefiting from that. Exactly. And governments all over the world are putting their money where their mouth is. We're talking billions of dollars being invested in hydrogen research development and deployment. That kind of support can be a game changer for a new industry. So there's a lot of government support for hydrogen, which could create a really good environment for companies like Plug Power to succeed. Are there any other reasons for optimism that stand out? Well, the unique properties of hydrogen itself are a big selling point. It's a really versatile energy carrier. Versatile. What do you mean by that? It can be used in a bunch of different ways. It can be burned as a fuel. It can be used in fuel cells to make electricity, and it can even be stored and transported pretty easily. Well, it's a flexible energy source that can be used in lots of different situations. That's pretty impressive. It is. And that flexibility makes it attractive to all kinds of industries, from transportation and power generation to heavy industry and even maybe airplanes. So while batteries might be ahead in some areas, hydrogen has the potential to be a more versatile solution in the long run. It's like a Swiss Army knife of clean energy. I like that. And that's basically the argument that Plug Power is making. Okay, so there's a lot of potential upside to this hydrogen economy, but also some major challenges to get over. It's a classic case of weighing the risks and the rewards. Exactly. And that brings us to the big question for investors is Plug Power worth the risk? That's the question everyone wants to know, right? Oh. And unfortunately, there's no easy answer. There isn't. It's a very speculative investment, and there's a real chance that the company could fail. But there's also the chance for huge rewards if they do well. So how do we balance those risks and rewards? Mm -hmm. How do we make a smart decision about whether or not to invest in plug power? That's what we'll talk about in the last part of our deep dive. We'll look at some key things to consider when evaluating this company and give you some things to think about if you're trying to decide if plug power deserves a spot in your portfolio. Stay with us. All right, Stock Explorers, we're back for the last part of our Plug Power Deep Dive. We've talked about the potential of the hydrogen economy, Plug Power's big plans, and some of the risks they're facing. Now for the hard part, figuring out what it all means for investors like you. Exactly. We've laid out all the pieces, but how do we put them all together to make a good investment decision? It's easy to get caught up in all the excitement about a green revolution, but we need to be realistic about whether Plug Power is worth the risk. So no magic answers here, but can you give us some way to think about this investment? What are the Im important questions we should be asking ourselves? Let's break it down. The first and probably most important question is, how much do you believe in the future of the hydrogen economy? Remember, Plug Power is betting big that the demand for green hydrogen is going to explode. If that happens, they're in a great position to really take off. But if it doesn't happen as fast as they think, well, it could be a rough ride. So it's not enough to just like the idea of green hydrogen, we have to do our research and really understand the market. What else should we be thinking about? Okay, next you have to ask yourself, how much confidence do you have in Plug Power's management team? I mean, they're the ones making the decisions, dealing with the challenges and trying to make the company profitable. Right, it's not just about the technology, it's about the people in charge. Do they have the experience and the vision to actually make this hydrogen thing work? Exactly. And Plug Power's management team has been criticized before for making promises they couldn't keep. So take a look at their track record. 
Are they making progress toward their goals? Are they adapting to the market as it changes? How you feel about the management team should be a big part of your decision. That makes sense. So we've looked at the market and the leadership. What's next on our list? This one's super important. Do you think Plug Power can actually become profitable? They've said they want to have positive EBITDA by 2026 and be fully profitable by 2028, but those are just projections, not guarantees. Right. We talked about how they've missed financial targets before. So as Doc Explorers listeners, we need to look beyond those projections. What should we be focusing on? Keep a close eye on their gross margins. Are they getting better? Can they lower their production costs and increase their revenue at the same time? Are they finding ways to be more efficient? Remember, it's not just about growing. It's about growing and making money. That's a really important point. Mm. And I guess we should also be watching their debt levels and their cash flow, right? Are they making any progress on reducing that debt? Are they managing their money well? Absolutely. Those numbers tell us if Plug Power can actually become a sustainable business that makes money or if they're going to be stuck in a cycle of debt and diluting their shares. Okay, so we've analyzed the market, looked at the management team, and broken down the financials. What's the last and maybe most personal question we need to ask ourselves? It comes down to this. How much risk are you comfortable with? Plug Power is a high-risk, high-reward investment. There's a chance you could make a lot of money, but there's also a chance you could lose a lot. It's definitely not for everyone. Exactly. If you don't like taking risks and you prefer investments that are more stable and predictable, then Plug Power is probably not a good choice for you. But if you're okay with some ups and downs and you really believe in the future of hydrogen, then it might be something to consider. So it's about making a judgment call, balancing your belief in the technology, your confidence in the company, and how much risk you're willing to take. That's it. There's no right or wrong answer here. It's about making a decision that makes sense for you and your investment goals. Well said. This has been a really interesting look at the world of hydrogen energy and what it's like to invest in a company like Plug Power. We've talked about the potential, the challenges, the risks, and the rewards. Hopefully, our Stock Explorers listeners have a better understanding now and can make their own informed decisions. And remember, always do your own research, talk to a financial advisor if you need to, and never invest more money than you can afford to lose. That's great advice. Thanks for joining us on The Deep Dive, and we'll see you next time for another exploration of innovative companies and exciting new technology.